Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is a what I got for Christmas part one. So today I'll be sharing with you what I've got from my parents and various members of my direct family who gave me money. So I went to the coach private sale and bought some of these items. I really like this red ribbon here. It's really festive. Um, I'm going to keep this and decorate um, my Christmas wreath as I think it would look really pretty on there. So the private sale is invitation only so I received my invitation through email. So when I went there they didn't have everything out on display. A sales associate had to get the stock that was in the private sale to show me. Um, so the first one here is a pouch. So this is um, in like a nude pinkish colour. Um, I don't know if that's showing up on camera. So this is just the normal wristlet pouch thing. Um, and it comes in its own dust bag and it's wrapped in plastic which is good because it's not a display one or it has not been used before. So the next item here is a card holder so it has three slots each side and one in the middle so I have one of these already in glove tan leather and it's green and it was really nice so I decided to get one and in the middle that there's the care instructions um, and I think this is a really good one for party um, it fits on the small bag and it is black dark purple and a dark blue so it's like a color block and it's in a color that won't get marked easily and the next thing is a skinny ID pouch and this has card slots at the back and in the middle is a key ring on the inside where you can attach your keys. I've bought this before in the, um, I think like a blossom pink and I really like that one so I decided to get another one. And then there is a another card holder. So this card holder is not for me. I decided to get this as like a spare present because they had another one in stock and I think it's really good. So this will make a good present for someone. And then um, this is a complimentary gift that I got with the purchases. Um, this is a card holder and I love the turn lock on this and the embellishment. It's really smart and it's really cute at the same time. It's quite small so it will fit a few cards but it's really nice. It's in like a pebble grain leather and the inside is a red-ish purple. Um, although it's coming up like rather brown. This would go very nicely with something that I'm about to show next. So um, with these items, I paid for some of them with my Christmas money, but I've also um, bought some myself. So it's a bit of a self-gift and also gift from family. And the next item that I'm showing you is really exciting. When I saw this, I did have to think, whether I would buy or not. I do have a few bags already, but this is quite like a dream combination. Just look at that. Um, I already own a Parker, but not in this size. So this is the Parker Top Handle 32, whereas I have the smaller one, I think 28, 25. Um, anyways, the, this one has a really nice turn lock, which I have really liked about the Parker and it is in two different levers so the top bit the flap bit is in like 
there's like a grainy leather and the bottom part which is the main part of the bag is in a smooth glove tan leather and I just love the way the turn lock turns on this and the inside of the flap is made from a really deep red suede which is really luxurious looking and it also makes looking into the bag easier instead of being quite dark so I'm just going to take out the stuffing just to show you what the inside of the bag looks like um, there is quite a lot of stuffing in here just to keep the shape of the bag and that's quite important so when I'm storing this I will be putting back most of the stuffing just to make sure the bag will keep its shape and I've never owned a bag with a suede interior so I'm going to have to do some research on how to preserve it um, luckily it is quite a dark colour rather than say a white but um, still have to be really careful as it marks really easily and or even though it's on the inside of the bag I still like to keep my bags looking really clean as possible so and here's one open compartment there and it's going to be a bit hard to look in although I said it'll be easier because it's in a deep red the camera might not pick up the inside of the bag so there is a zip compartment at the back with a gold hardware zip so the hardware on this bag is gold which is really good it matches really well with the color of the bag it makes it look like a classic combination which is why i was really um debating about rubber getting the bag because it is in such a good combination of color material design and i really like the top handle parker um from coach so I wanted to get one that was bigger so on the big compartment here there are two little pockets where you can slot your phone but I don't think it will work for my bigger iPhone plus phone so I think it will only be for um, smaller phones but that's not a problem because I mainly hold my phone anyway um, so I will just do some close-ups and a cutaway of me wearing it. So the side of the bag will is in like a dark purple, like a deep burgundy colour, which is really nice. So you've got two different um, leather on the bag, but also on the side you've got a different colour. But because it's not so contrasting, it's not that noticeable, but yet you've still got that deep um burgundy there which is really nice it makes the bag look a little bit more quirky so here you have the coach tank and on the reverse side you have um snakeskin print which is my favorite thing about this bag um and the i'm just going to unwrap the handle to show you um what the handle is made out of um, which is partly why I got this bag because I've never got something like this. Um, my other top handle is in a cream and white colour with a butterfly turn lock. So this is a slightly different colour combination. And that one is all in glove tan leather so there was no um, contrasting levers so I found this one a little bit more um, fun I guess and I'm almost done taking the wrapper off and it is in this gorgeous snake print and it is really special I think um, there is quite a lot of wrapping on this bag but just to reveal this really nice top handle and it's not something that coach do often so it is in real snake skin um, the texture of it is really nice but as you can see here through the camera it does add that little bit of something to the bag and furthermore when I saw the chain um, on this bag I was just like this is a really really nice bag so I'm just going to unwrap this to show you but I think with this it could potentially be my favourite coach bag. I was thinking of doing a video soon or maybe sometime next year on my 
coach bags but ranking them in order of favorite which that could be a bit difficult as I do like most of them if not all of them so it would be quite difficult to rank them but I will try I think it'll be an interesting way of doing the coach collection that I have um, it is a small collection but I do have some nice bags I think um, so here you can see that the chain is in gold the gold here is not like a bright gold it's quite a brushed um, muted gold which is good because it's not too um, shiny or flashy um, so here is the tag so this bag is not a display bag it was a new bag that they um, got out from the back which is always good because then you know that you are the first person who have used it touched it um, and here you can see on the strap of the chain um, it's made out of snake skin as well and the chain is really interesting so it's an interlocking C um, the C for coach and also the C you can see on the turn lock and I just love the snake skin um, addition to this bag and I'm just going to try stuff on and the um, strap is adjustable so I think I'm going to leave it on this setting um, while I'm trying it on it's currently in the middle so you can still adjust it so that it's shorter or longer on the chain so with the straps I think there are eight holes in total so currently it's in hole number four so I think you can go quite um, shorter or longer and it depends on how you like to wear the bag as well so personally I won't be using the straps a lot I'm more of a top handle person so I'll probably um, just hold it or put it through my wrist so the straps I will still bring if I need to be hands free but I will mainly be just using the handle but one thing is important with the handle is to put something like a small silk scarf over it so a bit like what people call a twilly for Hermes handbag just so that it protects the handle I have that for my um, other Parker but the thing is the snake skin is so pretty on the handle that it does feel a shame to cover it up so I will sometimes put it on sometimes not depending on the occasion so this is how it looks on me I'm 165 centimeters tall so it just comes um under my well on my belly and not just to my hips so if I put it on the just one shoulder um it is just around the hip and bum area um, which is pretty much where I would wear it I don't like it too high or too low down so that it's really nice just the whole like top handle looks so sophisticated um, it is a perfect size I think it's functional but not too big at the same time I should have also said that the chain is um, like a dark purple glove tan leather underneath and the snake skin is on the outer side um, so with this bag I was really tempted but it was slightly pricier at 275 um, and with this it's not that expensive considering how big it is and its coach um, so it was in the sale so with the private sale they did have quite a few different ones of these so they had a oxblood one a black sorry a white one but out of the three I think the th this one stood out the most from the first moment I clapped eyes on it I was like this is the one if you would like and I love the back pocket as well although I won't be using it it adds something to the bag and this is again the card that the car holder that they um, gave and I was just going to show you how well it matches it has the same turn lock is in the same color um, the leather is slightly different this one is more like a smooth grainy whereas the top bit of this is like a more solid grainy color so leather so it's not an exact match but it's very close and I'll be using the two together 
Um, I was thinking of getting the bag personalised, but I'm not exactly sure how um, I would like it yet. So I'm just going to leave it for now and enjoy it as it is. And when I feel like it needs a bit of colour or something, I would um, personalise it. And so I also got some extra bits in the sale, a coach sale. So this is um, open for general public access. So um, I got some bits here that I'll show you in this box. So it comes in this big um, wrapped paper thing and I love the coach stickers so I never really rip them if I can. So this is a notebook set and it has all the floral patterns. Um, it comes in four pieces. Um, I will try to do prices below but some of these items might have gone out of stock already but I'll try my best to link these items and all the items that I've shown so far in the description below. So this is a photo frame bag charm. So this is um, in the floral pattern which matches with the notebook that I've just shown so this is a bag charm you see here there's a hook which you can hook onto handbag and also a keyring you can also use this as a keyring rather than bag charm so it's very versatile so you open this up and you have two compartments where you can start photographs there'll be passport size but it will be really good if um, you can attach this to your bag or handbag and put pictures in that are sentimental so that when you're on the go you can see um, loved ones or things that matter to you most I already own one of these um, in that exact same color I just want to get another one for my bag and then there is also another one in here but in a different um, combination of colours and hardware. So this one is in pink whereas the other one was in a cream and this is also a floral pattern but the hardware here is silver rather than gold and also it's the same in the inside. Um, again you can put this on bag or keyring so I might use one for keyring and and one for bag charm probably the white one as keyring because I already own one of those and I use that as a bag charm currently um and this one will just be another bag charm um these are really good um I think as well um I might actually keep one to gift I think this would be really nice for say mum or auntie or someone like that um then the next thing is a is an accessory that will go nicely with something that I've already shown earlier. So in here is a bag charm. So it is a dark blue sea with crystal embellishments and this would go on the parka that I have shown earlier. I love that all these little small items come in their own dust bag. It makes gifting nicer. And also it's good to store them in dust bag. And this is how it looks on the parka. Um, it does kind of blend into the parka a little bit. But it does add a little something. Perhaps it would be better on a cream um, or like a lighter colour. So it might be better on my smaller parker top handle next box is a self gift i got this a while back as it was a pre-order i ordered it in september and it didn't arrive until late november so this is from my favorite youtube channel and it's on cats as you imagine i am a, a big fan of cats so the youtube channel mainly do content on the cats that they own and also um pet care related stuff um i've been following and watching their content now for about two and a half years and i really enjoyed it so this is the first time i've ordered merchandise from them as they are based in taiwan it is hard to get international shipping for their stuff um they mainly ship to asia um so like hong kong singapore taiwan um so it was a bit difficult to get hold of um so here I've ordered some calendar diaries. So it was a whole set. Um, it was roughly um, about 40, 50 pounds, I'd say. Um, and I think it was a thousand and something Taiwanese um, dollars. Um, I was very nervous when I first bought this because I didn't know the conversion rate. So I was looking at the price thinking this is 
quite expensive but when it does convert back to pounds it's not that bad so it does come in a big a3 diary so a3 calendar i'm just going to flick through the months to show you um there are quite a few pictures of cats on there which is good and another good thing is because it is from taiwan the calendar would have chinese festivals on them which is always good as i always forget so i would link their youtube channel in the description down below um and the calendar is actually very well made everything here feels like quality printing rather than um cheap and the pictures here are really interesting it's not the conventional cat pictures that you'll see in cat calendars it's rather more creative i would say and it has scenes actually from taiwan um with the cats that they own on there i think they own about eight cats i think and all of them are very different in their own ways and it's really good then um that i have the calendar so other than just this um, A3, it also came with a desktop calendar and the desktop calendar is really intricate as well. Um, so this I'll be hanging up and the desk, oh this is the um, poster calendar so it has the yearly view um, so it's smaller so I'll probably put this up on the wall as a poster and as you can see on the mumps there, um, each corner has the cats that they own um, so this is a desktop calendar that I was just talking about so I'm just going to open it up this is so cute I've never gotten a full set of something in terms of calendar and diaries um, and I'm really excited about this so here you can see um, it's kind of roughly half and half so the top half is the monthly view and the bottom is a picture of the cat um, and it, they are really cute and creative and I've just noticed that at the back there is a to-do list and also the picture is actually detachable and it becomes a postcard um, where you can affix a stamp and also write on the back of the postcard which is actually really good for if you want to keep all the pictures without having to keep the whole calendar and also if you want to send any of them to people who like cats um, it's also a good way and just really creative I think um, something that I've never seen before so um, with this calendar I'll be putting it on my desk um, and I'll definitely be taking out the postcards um, I've really actually been impressed with this collection it's been really well designed and thoughtful um, and I love one of the cats there it reminds me of one of the cats I used to have when I was younger and at the back here there is a yearly view as well so I'm just going to fold it so that I can show you what it looks like standing up um, and I'm also keen to test how well it does because the bit that's used for the stand is actually quite a soft cardboard um, so I'm a bit worried whether the weight would be evenly distributed um, at the beginning of the year where most of the pages are on one side. So here I'm just going to fold it um, and play see if it bounces. It actually it's not too bad. Um, once you fold the tab over so I'm now going to open the diary that it comes with or planner um, I think this is yeah more of like a planner agenda thing um, I think I also have to buy another um, book as a diary so I like to write a lot actually in my diary so a lot of the planners I'll just use for writing down appointments and stuff that I need to do and so there's like some yearly view um, stuff I actually really like this so it's quite spacious in terms of the grid it's almost like a calendar for the monthly for the weekly view sorry um, so yeah so each page has a picture of a cat and so there are also some bits where you can write down notes um, there are so many pictures of cats which is good um, I like the inside a lot there is also some square paper and stuff to write notes on um, I don't tend to write notes in my diaries unless it's really important or I have no paper as I like to just keep it looking as neat and tidy as possible I'm quite particular when it comes to that 
um, and I like the ribbon bookmark here as well as it's always good to keep a place on where you're at in the diary and because there is also a plastic cover on the diary um, it will protect it um, there are some stickers that I've just found inside and they're really cute with the different emojis um, of the cats they're drawn digitally um, and they all have like different facial expressions and stuff like that so the plastic cover will protect this it is a non-hardback which is slightly downfall because I do like one that is hard wearing Thank you everyone for watching so we've come to the end of part one but don't forget there will be a part two and potentially part three. I will link those videos down in the description below once they're made and have a very good Christmas and a happy new year and please comment down below if you would like to share any interesting presents that you've received.